In this video, we will demonstrate how you can use webhooks to send data via Pavli by Bitform. From Bitform dashboard create a new form if not exists or select any other form to use the webhook. We have two fields to test the webhook here, and we have selected the form at the front end to show. Now go to your Pabli Connect dashboard and create a new workflow. Name the workflow to identify it later in your workflow list. Search for webhook and select it to continue to the next step. Copy the generated webhook URL and go to Bitform dashboard to connect it with Pabli. Go to Settings, Confirmations, Webhooks and then create a new webhook. Paste the copied webhook URL. You can send by any method such as get, post, or any method you want. We will send with post method as an instance. Add URL parameters to send the form value which we can use in Pavli later. Map the key name and select the field name which you want to send as a value. We will map here both fields of this form. Now to test if the webhook is connected, click to capture webhook response in Pavli and click on the test webhook button in Bitform. As you can see, the response has been captured with our mapped key values which means it is connected. Save the webhook and continue to the next step. Now you can send the webhook's value to any app Pabli has, we will use Google Sheets as an example in this video. Select the action event to be done in Google Sheets such as we will use add a new row event here. Connect your Google Sheets account and then config the app as your preference. Select the spreadsheet and sheet name to send the webhook values. These are the header names of the selected spreadsheet. Select the key name of the webhook trigger which you sent from Bitform at the initial test. Click to save button to activate the workflow and ensure that the workflow status is on. Update the settings you made in Bitform to trigger the event. But at first, you have to make sure the webhook is all set to work before testing the trigger. If your form consists of only one webhook, you don't have to select it in conditional logics, but if you have multiple, then in conditional logics, you have to set which webhook to run. Now we will fill in some information and submit the form to test if the webhook triggers. Bitform has successfully triggered the workflow. From now on, whenever the form is submitted, the Pabli workflow will trigger. Thanks for watching.